Hey everybody, it's Teacher Morgan here and I'm back with another activity. Today's activity is DIY stress balls. Obviously, stress balls are good for kids to let out their anger and frustration. They get to squeeze it and uh, be mean to it if they want to. But besides that, it's good for promoting their fine motor skills because they're using their fingers and their hands to squeeze and make their fingers and hands stronger. So, the items you will need for this activity are balloons, a water bottle, a half sheet of paper, Sharpie is optional if you wanna draw faces on them, and then various items to put inside your balloons. Right here I have black rice, but I've also used dried beans, I've used oats, I've used lentils, sprinkles, uh, flour, you name it, as long as it will fit inside your water bottle or inside the balloon, you're good to go. So the first thing you want to do is take your half sheet of paper, roll it up, like a little funnel to fit inside your water bottle. Something like this. I'm gonna put that inside my water bottle. I had one already made, so I'm kind of cheating. And then right here, I have my bowl of rice, so I'm just gonna start scooping it in there. Scooping it in to fill up my water bottle. The amount you put doesn't really matter, but you want to put a significant amount so it keeps that good solid circular shape because you want the item to fill up the inside of the balloon. So I'm going to keep filling it and filling it and filling it. This can be a messy project so I suggest doing it in the kitchen because as you can see I'm spinning all over the place. Let's see, I still want to do some more. So. Okay, so I put about that amount in my water bottle. Next, you're going to want to blow up your balloon. The reason that you want to blow up your balloon is to ensure the shape of the sensory ball. You see how this is like a nice round ball? If you don't blow it up first, it will become like all small and oblong and weird looking. So just trust me. Okay, now this is the hardest part. While it's aired up, you wanna place it over the top of your water bottle like so. That way when you flip it over, fill up your balloon. Shake it until it all gets in there. Shake. Pretty much, you can see that there's just the rice. I'm gonna pull this tight, tighten a knot, and voila, there's your stress ball. Like I said, a Sharpie is optional to draw faces. You can see I have some here, like a silly one, a sad one, a happy or like surprised one, and here's my mad one. This will just help elongate the activity and allow your children to talk about their feelings and emotions better. Um, besides that, it could be like a fun guessing game for your kids to try to guess what's inside of it by the feel of it. But either way, it's a fun activity. Try it at home and let me know what you think.